MTD CNC are back in Derby today. We're at Star's headquarters. I do recommend you come to this company if you have a turn-in shop and you're looking at new ways of making components. In fact, that is very much about what today's video uh, is all about. Star GB, if you watch our channel, if you don't, please subscribe using the link below. Over recent years, Star GB have had record years year on year. Now, that's down to a few reasons. Uh, one of which, of course, you've got top quality sliding head lathes they supply, also the backup, the support that they give you on your journey as well. But not just that, it's a way the market is changing. In fact, these machines are becoming so adaptable and so flexible that they really are eating and eroding into the fixed head market. And today, that's what this video is about. It's about if you have a turn-in shop, if you're making components but you're thinking, is there a, a better way to machine them? Is there a way to be more productive? Then you could talk to Star about a sliding head lathe as there is an opportunity that they can save you time and money. And here is a few of the reasons. Now, the first thing is about the tooling on these machines. Uh, you'll find if you go back a decade or so ago, the tools were far harder to set. For example, some of the tools didn't have their own geometry, so every new job you'd have to set and teach tool positions. Also the quantity of tools, you know, up to 41 tools on this machine here, a lot of which are driven. And of course, when you're taking a tool out, uh, you can take them out and replace them with a new tool within a matter of seconds. But with the, with, with the nature of these machines, you often do have a standard set of tools that you don't have to change. I, I really, where I'm going with this is that you can go from job to job far faster than you used to be able to. Uh, to also complement that, these machines run on either guide bush or non-guide bush. So let's go ahead and have a look at this here. This is where it, you change from guide bush to non-guide bush or vice versa. It can be done in a matter of minutes. Now, what's the advantage to this? Well, again, years ago or decades ago, uh, engineers would have looked at sliding head turning and they would have thought, I need to be doing significant volumes to get the best out of this type of machine. I need to buy ground precision bar to use on this type of machine. Uh, that's not the case anymore. This, as I said, you can go from one to the other in a matter of minutes. You can do shorter production runs. You can do uh, shorter components. You can even do larger bar diameters now on these machines, up to 42 mil on some of Star's sliding head lathes. Um, and talking about that point, if you're, if you're doing components anywhere, you know, you're getting into the two inch market there when you're talking about 42 mil bar or just under. If you're making parts 30 to 42 to 45 mil, you could be considering star lays. Not specifically this one, because this is obviously the SR20 R4. Other reasons, flexibility. The, the, the more axes on the machine. Now this machine actually comes with a B axis. It comes with a full B axis, so you can you can um, you can be more adventurous about the components that you're machining. You can tackle intricate parts. You can do angled holes. Uh, you can you know with that B axis on this machine, it's fully programmable. Everything can be done within cycle. They do have also the Type A, which is actually a B axis um, that is manually positioned. The machines are also much faster. Now, the spindles on some of the star sliding head lays will run at 10,000 RPM and the driven tools will run at 8,000 RPM. If those spindles are going faster, the parts are coming off far quicker, which means you're more and more productive. And if you're more productive, you're going to be essentially uh, satisfying your customers' needs and making more money. And with features like the B-axis and the Y-axis that these machines have, in fact, this machine has a Y-axis on the back and the front, uh, double C axis. It means that you can tackle those more complicated parts. It means that the machine is able to make more sophisticated components far faster. Uh, the power as well. Over recent years, I've got to say, uh, these machines have become heavier. The spindles are more powerful. Uh, so it means that when before you might have been looking at doing uh, harder materials on bigger, bulkier machines, not necessarily the case now. These machines will take on that type of work. You could also run the machines with neat cutting oils or solubles. Uh, the choice is yours. The control. Every part has to be programmed. Uh, start off of the NC Assist. This uh, helps you program your components. It's dead easy to use. And once the parts are programmed, one of the things I also uh, love about the Star Solution is their motion control. This will help you in everything we've just spoken about get even faster cycle times. It will optimize your program to ensure that you are getting that part off the machine as fast as it can possibly come off. The optimization will take your programs, it will look at the high points, the low points, and it'll actually uh, make, the, make the machining cycle far faster. So to summarize really, if you don't have a sliding head lathe, but you have a turn-in shop, 
And some of the parts we've, we've kind of focused on here today are the types of components that you're machining. Then why on earth would you not challenge Star GB to see whether they can make your parts faster and make you more productive? Come here to Derby, centrally located. They can run your parts on these machines. In fact, in the machine shop here, uh, or in the showroom here, we have six machines that are ready uh, for you to come and look at. Sliding head lathes are certainly becoming very, very popular in the UK market. Uh, don't miss a trick, stargb.com.